Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another episode on carving R2 cooksers. Um, now through the magic of YouTube, although you would have seen the last episode of this uh, last week, it's actually been about three weeks since then, um, I did a little bit of filming in advance um, so that I had a couple of episodes because I was away for a couple of weekends in a row. Um, now unfortunately, um, what I did during those three weeks is absolutely nothing when it comes to this cookser and it's been sitting in its bag, um, slowly drying out, but I haven't been airing it out. Um, and I thought that would be a really good example to give you guys kind of what happens to a piece of wood when you don't keep it aired properly. So you can see inside the bowls there's quite a lot of mould growing in there. Um, also on the bank, uh, back as well, it's quite damp. When it hasn't gone particularly rotten yet, it's not particularly punky, it's still a perfectly usable piece of wood. Um, but what I really should have been doing was taking this out sort of every few days, letting it air out for a couple of hours and then putting it back in. Um, but you know, just to just kind of to give you an example of what happens when you don't do that. Um, now today's episode is going to be really, really short. Um, I've got a couple of things on this weekend, um, but I wanted to get another video in and I wanted to sort of progress on this a little bit. Um, so really what we're going to be doing is splitting these two cooksers down. Um, so what I'm going to do is cut down the middle line here to separate them two out so that we have two cooks of blanks rather than the single one that we have now. Um, there's not really any benefit having them joined together anymore. Um, and for that, I'm going to be using one of my new saws. Um, and I can't remember which one this is. I think this is my Catawba saw, um, though I could be wrong there. Um, I'll need to double check that. Uh, but it's the bigger of my two um, Japanese saws and these are reported to cut very, very well. So what I'm gonna do, let me just move the camera a little bit closer in and I'll show you what it is we're gonna do. Right then guys, so all I've done is taking a little bit of an off-cut split piece of wood. I've screwed this into the workbench so it's nice and solid, just to give me something to brace against. Um, I find that if you try and cut by hand, um, with something like this, it just starts moving all over the place. Um, so it just gives me a nice sort of background stop. Because I've got this indentation in here for the bowl, I can get my thumb into there, I can get the rest of my hand over the stop, um, and it gives me a nice stable base to work with. Now, I'm gonna do this by eye, um, and I've left a reasonable amount of material in between these two bowls, so hopefully this should work quite well. Um, and as I say, it's the first time I've used this saw, so I'm hoping for good things. And if I just very slowly start getting that line in, always the most difficult part is getting the, the cut started. And now I've got that, I can move back a little bit further on this handle just to give myself a bit more leverage. And to be honest guys, straight away this is cutting through really easily and really well. I'm actually quite pleased with this. And to be honest, apart from that, I just caught it on the end there, which sort of pulled it out of the way. But this really is cutting through really easy. It's taking no effort here whatsoever. So there we go. We now have two cookser blanks, and they've both got a little bit left on the lip at the bottom, so we can get nice and tight into that. Um, and do you know what, apart from the fact that it catches a little bit on here if you push too far forwards, I'm actually really impressed with this saw. It's cut through really, really nicely. There's hardly any sawdust or muck left in those blades, or left in the teeth should I say. Um, so yeah, so all in all, really impressed with this saw. 
Right then guys, so as I said, just a really short video today. So I've been meaning to get these two separated for a while and that's what I wanted to get done today. Um, I'm gonna leave these for a couple of hours just to carry on drying out a little bit. I should have been drying them out a little bit more than this um, in between, you know, at least letting the moisture sort of get off the, the outside surfaces of the wood. Um, and then I'll hopefully come back to this maybe tomorrow, um, if not next week, just to get some of uh, a little bit more of the shaping done. Um, and mostly I'll be doing that with my axe. Um, but anyway, guys, so just a really quick update video for you, as I say. Hope it was useful. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.